All right, guys, if you're interested in short-term rentals, watch this video to find out how you can scale this business. Ron from Ron Rooney Law, and today we're gonna to be talking about scaling your short-term rental business and how you can protect yourself legally in this fantastic field. So, short-term rentals, what are they? How do you do them and how do you scale this business to reach a level where it is self-sufficient and it's self-managing on a day-to-day -day basis? Let's get started. Ron from Ron Rorty Law, we're a real estate firm uh, fo solely focused on helping investors grow and scale their business, especially using short-term rentals. Now, this area of law is very tricky. Uh, we've seen in the last couple of years, a lot of municipalities, a lot of lenders, everybody's been coming out and they're learning how to accommodate this type of new rental structure. So partner with a law firm that understands these nuances and make sure that you can draft the right agreements to protect your investment before things go crazy. So. In this video, we're going to talk about scaling your business. Now, this is one of the most critical elements of a short-term rental business. Because the costs are so high and the revenue can be very high, it becomes a very volatile business. And scaling, that is getting more than one, three, I would say even five units under management is really a critical piece of learning how to be profitable in this space. So. In order to do that, you need to have a legal structure that is scalable as you grow. And that may mean taking on additional capital partners, that may mean taking on employees or at least fixed wage contractors, as well as a system for your legal structure and accounting that can grow with you. So let's take a little bit of an example of what this legal structure looks like. <clears throat> now, if you're just starting off, you may have one property here. Uh, as you grow and you add a second property, how is legal title held in these entities? We're going to look at one legal structure that may be a good fit, and that's the series LLC. And so all of these can relate back to one parent entity, and this is going to be your series LLC here. Now, this series LLC can be owned, we'll call it 33% and 34% by these individuals. We have J, B, and R as individuals. This is a great structure for scaling because it reduces your incremental filing fees and costs. You have minimal tax filing reporting requirements, but you get that individual series LLC protection. Now, another legal contract that you want to be aware of is the property management. The property management agreement is really critical to growing an Airbnb or short-term rental business because so much of the value and the revenue basis is on the customer experience. You need a property manager that is responsive to guest needs, that is active in marketing and understands how to get clients in, how to book, and how to book at the highest rates. So, understanding your property management, this is a critical document. And a lot of your boilerplate forms are not going to anticipate the amount of daily cleanings, the, the, the late check-ins, um, problems with furnished uh, furniture. <laughs> TVs, appliances, Wi-Fi, the standard property manager does not contemplate managing a fully furnished vacation rental. So I've just talked about two areas. Um, this is your legal structure as well as this document here. This is governed by your operating agreement. Now, in order to scale to three, Maybe let's say we have four properties here. This is going to require a significant amount of equity. Let's say each of these is approximately, you know, half a million dollars and you're going to have to put 150 or 200,000 down, right? We're including the full cost of furnishing, um, you know, equity and other closing costs as well as maybe salaries for some of those employees. 
And at that purchase price, we're at two, four, six, eight hundred thousand worth of equity. You may need additional partners to come in on this venture. You already have a very successful location, but you're going to need an operating agreement which governs how the partners work together and pool their capital to distribute returns. Property management, series LLC, check if it's available in your state. But these are two critical areas. And I want to take a moment to talk a little bit more about why scale is so important to short-term rentals. Some of the best money to be made in commercial real estate is in monopolizing the price. And that is controlling a significant amount of the supply that you can dictate what the price should be. And anytime you can be in a position where you control 70, 60, or 50% of the market availability, you're going to be able to set your own price. For short-term rentals, it's no different. If you have a specific area, a part of the lake, like you have the north side of a lake, and you can start to manage or you can set pricing for 50% of the rentals in that area, you will be able to curate a better customer experience, stronger SEO, stronger reviews, photos, videos. All of that package will directly translate into increased demand, and it will be justified for the higher price when you control a significant amount of properties. On the flip side, if you only have one Airbnb on, say, a mountainside in Colorado, you're not going to be able to impact any of the local opinions of that area. And so this is, again, short-term rentals, it's critical that you have scale in order to control pricing as well as to save money on these types of things. So that's this short video on scaling your short-term rental business. Contact the law firm if you have any questions. Smash that like button, subscribe if you like the content, and we'll see you next time.